Rows and rows and rows of corn in Indiana. This is what Hoosiers do. This is the heartland. The other thing Hoosiers do, other than get lost in cornfields, is they walk across the state and raise money for the Indiana Children's Wish Fund. That's what Mark Foyle's doing for the next six, or for these six weeks. He's three weeks into his trip, and this is a 45-foot cruiser that we're using to give Mark a place to sleep at night after he's done walking. It's brought there, uh, supplied by Camping World. This, of course, is to raise money for the Indiana Children's Wish Fund. This is State Road 11, and that's the uh, the road that Mark's walking down today, all the way into Columbus, and State Road 46, which he'll take to uh, Nashville, and then on to Bloomington. Driving this big mother is a challenge. Parking it is almost impossible. Besides, you must remember to retract those loads and expand the living space in the RV to their original configuration or risk doing a great deal of damage to a very expensive vehicle. And here's how we operate this deal. Okay. And we're moving. Oh, big school bus. So this is Mark Boyle's uh, RV. I'm driving for the week. Not a bad gig. I gotta confess, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm actually terrified that people don't need special licenses to operate these things. I don't know who made that decision, but I would. Uh, I'm a pretty good driver, and I would recommend that the legislature look at that in the next session as a, a matter of first interest because this is not you know what it doesn't look easy and it's not easy and here we come upon mr boyle there he is moving along at a steady four mile an hour clip avoiding all traffic and so now here we are in columbus made it with the rv mark's uh, still out walking and uh doing his best moving along at four miles an hour up uh, State Road 11. I'm in the parking lot at the Marsh and uh, in Columbus, Indiana up on uh, I think this is National Street, whatever. Alright, it's a little bit messy because I'm working as you can see. But there's the iMac. I don't have a laptop so I use the iMac. I'm old school. There's Mark's iMac. He sits there and updates his... Hey, he forgot his hat. Uh, kitchen. Nice. Hey, and look out here. Show you. There's the Marsh. That's where we're going to pick up some box lunches. And Marsh is taking very good care of Mark on this trip and uh, providing us with food, which I'll show you because I know this is fascinating. There we are in the refrigerator, fully functional refrigerator. Got the water, got all kinds of stuff. Gatorade, what's on this side? More Gatorade. No, there isn't. Yeah, there's a little more Gatorade. Some ribs, some uh, turkey, whatnot. Mark's a sleeping area, which expands. That part goes out. Uh, we won't do that now. And there's uh, Mark's dressing area. And a flat screen TV that, to my knowledge, Mark does not use uh, much. Here's a TV that we've got up in front. And uh, we can watch DVDs on there. Got a DVD player in here. There oh. it is. I brought some DVDs. Uh, haven't watched too many of them. Brought 10 W.C. Fields movies. Here's Mark Boyle's walk uh, for the Indiana Children's Wish Fund. If you would, for those four of you who, uh, who are watching, please write a check to the Indiana Children's Wish Fund uh, and, and help make some dreams come true for some very special kids and some very special families. Uh, the people at the Indiana Children's Wish Fund do this because they love it. Mark's doing it because he believes in them. So write him, write him a check and, uh, and support what they do. 
because what they do comes from their heart. And, uh, and, and that's why we're here.